Hello good people from the YouTube, here's Mars Durham and today is a very important video. I haven't done a video talking in a long time um, and this occasion make me want to do one because there's not many people talking about this at the moment which is a new guitar that is not new, well a guitar that Epiphone just put out now in 2024 and is the 345 Cherry and there's also a black one and I mean they didn't put any announcements I mean we saw I saw a video on Peach Guitar and I saw a video on Endertons I saw one guy way before these videos came out saying I bought this guitar I don't know why Epiphone is not talking about it there's no videos about it and in fact I was like oh yeah I, I wouldn't how how this came because the 345 slash guitar from back to the future and cherry red or any other color but you know we know cherry red is the correct color for people who are fans of the female like me and uh they they put it out a uh, uh, limited run in 2011 and that was it and i never heard of it anymore like it's really hard to find these to sell used and if you do find they're really expensive and all of a sudden you have this guitar that is the guitar actually even more accurate than the limited edition that he put before and there's no big fuss about it no one's talking about it so I always wanted this guitar, it's one of my dream guitars, the one that's missing from my collection there's a empty slot here for it and uh, I was gonna go for a 335 and try to mod the hell out of it to make it look like the one in the movie but guess what now I just need to put a Bixby on it <laughs> the guitar uh, it's perfect it just needs the Bigsby and that's what I'm gonna do uh, I might do some other mods to it but I wanted to do a video as it is stock now that just it just arrived today and you know what's crazy I'm filming this I don't know if I'm posting this today but 21st of October this today I had a lot of problems with the shipment this guitar FedEx screwed up many times um, and it was delayed two weeks to arrive. Uh, it came here, the guy didn't find my apartment, went away. Next day he came, I asked to be left after I come back from work. He came at 2 o'clock in the afternoon, there was no one home. The guitar went back, stayed two weeks away, came back, was shipped out on Friday, arrived this Monday, 21st of October. Back to the future, back to the future's day, believe it or not. Even though on the first movie he, he went actually to... Um, 26, I don't know why people say 21st, 21st I think is the f second movie, there's a little weird thing there, but anyway, uh, 21st of October is Back to the Future's Day, and I have the Marty McFly guitar, uh, 345, ES 345, also BB King um, style because it has the very tone, right, Freddie King, Chuck Berry, That's why this is the reason why this guitar was chose for the movie, even though it's not fully accurate for the date. 55, everyone knows this stuff, you know, the guitar's from 58, the movie's in passing 55. I'm crazy happy with this. Everything is gold on it, like like it should be. Uh, I personally don't like gold hardware, I just it's just because it's like the one in the movie. 
I will maybe change the pickups, okay? That's my the mods that I might do. I just want to go through it really quick. I might change the pickups eventually. Um, I will probably, not sure, send a little bit of this flashy lacquer that is very heavy on the guitar. See how it's reflecting the light here? I like my instruments more like a satin finish or a nitro finish kind of thing. I'm not very keen on the heavy gloss stuff, especially in the neck which affects the playability for me. So I'm definitely going to take from the neck, but I might take from here as well at some point. Not right now, because I just got the guitar. I'm going to keep it for months before I start doing modifications to it. But I also will change probably these tuners for um, these tuning pegs for um, the Goto uh, version of this. They're really good, really stable, and I love that I put them on all my guitars. And probably won't be gold as well. Uh, and of course, I have to put the Bigsby, which I think I'm gonna keep it gold just for the sake of looking like the one in the movie. And uh, uh, I believe these pots, uh, I'm not sure if they're CD CTS pots. I cannot see without a camera going inside. But here's the big deal this guitar is not stereo, okay? So it's mono and it has the very tone after all the circuit. So you can use it as a normal 335. But you can use also the different sounds to thin it up as and over compress and little things that it does to it. But essentially you have a 335 with the looks of, uh, of the one from the movie, which was what I wanted. Uh, now the back, I might, because I have to change the pickups and I like to do everything by myself. I might also change the electronics. I may install here one of those back plates. To have access to the electronics. Some people think it's a crime. If it was a real Gibson, I would I would never do that. But because it's an Epiphone, I feel and I think this guitar is gonna stay with me for a long, long time. I, I don't know, for forever, hopefully. Um, I don't intend to I'm gonna modify the hell out of this so it stays perfect as I want and playable and usable live and everything. And with the access to the back I can do the modifications that I'm always doing to my guitars and yeah it is what it is it's just in the back it doesn't affect too much and I will put some I believe Mojo Tone 59 pickups on it but let's see how it is stock because I'm talking like a lot okay let's plug it in and see what we get Thank you. 
I, I do like to put a big muff on it um, to do those overdrive sounds and I reduce the volume to clean it up. Um, and uh, yeah man, I mean the guitar is very solid, there's minor, minor things I need to do maybe, and I even touch the height of the pickups or anything, or, or I mean I not even remove the plastic from the scratch blade or anything, so there's a lot of things to, I love this sound, there's a lot of things to, um, you know, go and go with this guitar and there's a lot of things to make it make it better not, not better as a being a bad guitar but for me like just the playability of course I need to hydrate the frets because it's kind of hard to play at the moment it's a bit dry but it's not bad like you don't feel it scratch you when you push so that's good it's a little bit light color than lighter color than I wanted but I'm gonna make it darker I'm happy with it and yeah I mean there's not too many around so it's kind of I don't know if they're gonna keep this how long they're gonna keep this on the line if it's just something for 2024 2025 I don't know man I just wanted to get mine before it was too late and for a good price you know I paid 769 or 765 uh, pounds here in the UK and yeah, man, it's crafted in China, and I have already uh, Les Paul, that is the Heritage, uh, Gibson inspired. Um, let me just grab it here. Uh, as you can see here, it has already the tuners that I want to put, the tuning packs that I want to put on this one. And it's a set and finish cherry burst. Um, and uh, I love this guitar, it's really, really good, it's way better than I expected for the money that I pay for it. Uh, even the pickups are alright and has split, split coil capability and all this stuff. It was a really good uh, introduction to this Epiphone um, inspired by Gibson kind of thing, which up until now I only had Fenders, I'm a Fender guy most of the time. So having now uh, experienced the Les Paul, I thought it was worth it to pay uh, a lot of more money, well almost well, yeah, more money for for this one, but knowing that will be a reliable guitar that I could improve with modifications. Still getting out of tune a little bit because brand new strings, but you got the point. It's, it's a great guitar. Uh, yeah, if, if you have the opportunity to get one of these, just go for it. There's another uh, 335 with the Bigsby There's orange. It's really, really cool. Uh, but anyway, I, I had to have the, the you know, the inlays as the 345, the very tone, the bells and whistles as they say.
thanks for watching. Uh, hope you enjoyed it. Uh, if you stay until the end here, uh, check out my band if you can, M Files. Uh, I'm gonna put a link to a video of us playing live here on YouTube here right now. And uh, yeah, check us out on Spotify as well. We have an album called A Beam of Light, so M Files, A Beam of Light. It's a little joke with that song I ran, but it's a cover with a beam of light picture that I took. It's a real picture, it's no fake. Uh, yeah, and uh, we play that kind of 90s garage rock, grunge-ish uh, kind of sound. It's a power trio, and if you're into that kind of sounds, uh, Foo Fighters, that stuff. Foo Fighters. Uh, yeah, just uh, check it out, see if you like. We're from London, UK, and uh, we're trying to, you know, just spread the word about our band, try to get some better gigs, festivals, stuff like that. Peace, have a good time guys, and I will enjoy this guitar now. It just arrived, I'm still getting to know it. Till next time, bye.